No. It's too slow. Uh oh. Alright, fair. Oh, God. That revenge damage. <laughs> Got fucked up. He had the revenge and the damage buff. I tried to parry that block hole, I missed it, and I was like two thirds of my health. Res us. <laughs> it's pretty dangerous, though, yeah. Oh, get him with the ranged move. <laughs> he doesn't have any buffs anymore, at least. Oh, God. Oh, we got a res off. This guy's pulling the fucking 5v1 right now. Could use another res. <laughs> okay. Still not dead. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. <laughs> I'll get it. There we go. <laughs> He was fighting pretty hard though, fuck. That guy's gonna be level 4 now. It's the bot's fault. See, that guy didn't give up, right? Like, that guy didn't give up, and rightly so. It didn't... It was like, definitely, you don't need to give up just because you have some bots on your team. You can just kill the other dudes. Someone who does that just has to be salty, where they're like, oh, there's bots on my team, and then they lose their fight and leave. And shit. I mean, when you watch the bots fight me, they do better than most of the players. They actually delay it, they can do some good moves. <laughs> Those ranged moves are so good. Guess I'm an instant killer, guys. I know how to put someone down. I know what it feels like to do those 1v4s, so I know where the window is to, like, kill them from it, too. Okay, this is this guy. He's pretty good, though. We gotta take our time with him. Oh, nice fake. He faked top and went side there. Oh, what? How did that hit me? Bullshit. Alright, pay him back a little. No, why? Why is that? Why is that hitting me? Take it, boy. Fuck. He's just kind of swinging at me. We got this. Gotta watch my stamina. Boom. That's pretty fitting. We both got revenge at like the exact same time in that fight. That was kind of cool. Sweet. Nice duel. Yeah, that guy was pretty good. score. Bit of refinement on them anyways. GG's guys, I played with you guys for a while so I'm gonna take my leave of that group. Good games. But we can probably upgrade an item. We're very close to having the max level gear. Need like four more levels on items to have max level gear. I sat down and tried to build a mid-range controlish paladin, realized I couldn't outvalue Jade or Kazakus ever. Yeah. I think that's definitely a problem in Hearthstone right now. Sorry that I was too good. You better be. Didn't really get many glorious moments when they were all dead. Uh, okay. So, we should be able to do an upgrade. You wanted to know the weapon and shoulder pads. We're using this one. I might consider switching attack for defense if I found a similar sword with just those two reversed, but I feel stamina cost reduction is the least important of the stats on the weapon. And then yeah, let's disenchant some of these other ones. 
because your stamina cost is so much offset by the fact that you have infinite stamina and revenge. I think my shield is not optimal. I have throw distance, but I think something like this would be better. Where we take away revenge mode attack in exchange for revenge gain by injury. Or like that. Is that better? I think I like this one the most. But I've already upgraded that. So we're just trying to get a full set of gear, and then I'll probably upgrade this shield because I do think that one's better. Uh, these are revive speeds, least important. I think that's pretty clear. Because revive speed is useless. It's better just to kill them. And we have execution regen, slowest. And the helm has debuff resistance and revenge mode duration. So, we can upgrade something. Let's upgrade this. Sweet. We're close, baby. We need another, like, 140 coins. And we gotta do three things. Three more item levels. What's our quest? Is a very good quest there. I think oh, the stealth mechanic is gone. I have some hope left. Yeah, that's true. Is game playable on PC? Yeah, you yeah, Definitely. Just make sure you rebind your buttons to whatever you find more comfortable on the keyboard. The color of your character's beard changes according to the helmet, so you guys have told me. <laughs> You can actually like transmogrify your items too. If you have an item with certain stats that you want, but you don't like the way it looks, you can change its look into a different item, which is cool. I'm glad that they give you so many customizations for the way your character looks in this game. I think our team looks a little bit better equipped than their team. Not gonna lie to you, I'd be pretty surprised if they win. We got only one guy, and their best geared guy has less gear than our worst geared guy. I mean, the gear doesn't matter that much, but it also shows experience with the character, right? Presumably, a, the 8 prestige peacekeeper is going to know how to fight better than the level 11 lawbringer. Would be definitely a testament to their ability if they succeeded in these rounds. The odds have got to be against him this time. It's because you pick your character after you pick, um, after you get matched. So they can be like a really high level on a different character, but for this battle they picked a low level character. So they'll be good fighters, they just won't have as much skill on their current character. But they're smurfing, yeah, exactly. There'll be people that are of similar fighting skill to our allies, they're just not on the character for it. But, that means they can still be pretty good, even though they're a random lot bringer. Or, you know, they'll taunt into him missing a guard break. Might be a way it goes, too. Got a block. Okay. No. Oh, how did that work? Well. Didn't quite go his way, huh? I love when you just like thrown out a testing hit and then they get hit by it three times in a row. It's like you're supposed to block that after the first time I did it. <laughs> Letting it happen three times before you block, you're gonna be having some trouble in the fight. Yeah. Surprise, surprise, it seems we won. Does legendary beard upgrade count as hair extensions? Inquiring mind needs to know. It'd be cool if you got a legendary helmet then and you have a legendary beard attached to it. What are the feet levels for? So each character has different feats. When you do things in the battle, you level up. That only happens in the 44s. But uh, yeah, they're all different. And each character can like choose amongst their own as well. They have three different ones for each section. Need uh, stamina. Oh god. Good. I'm gonna get knocked down too. Oh, he knocked me to the wall, so I didn't get knocked down. Dead. Oh, not dead. 
Oh, he's blinded too in black hat. Slaughter, isn't it? <laughs> Stealth is gone. Charge will be gone. Spells are too uninteractive. Just failed from the get go. Inspire never saw much play. Divine Shield never really appears in the game. What did Battlecry taunt Death Row discover doing in Hearthstone Coin Flip Simulator? <laughs> Okay, this guy's performing a little better than our previous opponent already. See, he actually, not only did he not get hit by the first one, he blocked multiple directions correctly. And uh, right away you can tell he's going to be a better opponent if he does that. He's paying attention, got a parry on a light attack, that was beautiful. I got a parry on him, that's my second one actually. Punish for moving, did a tag team on him. A little cheap, he was a really good player. Fuck, ouch. Yeah, I shouldn't underestimate him, he could still win. That, there's been plenty of times someone comes in and gives me revenge, and then I just kill both of them. You can see the difference was night and day between that opponent and the previous one, though, right? They were both playing Lawbringer, but the other guy just got hit by the same attack three times in a row. And that guy didn't even get hit once by any of our testing blows. It wasn't until I parried him twice that I could actually land damage on him and break the stamina. I love a game where you can tell that, like, right away. Just a couple of quick taps and you're like, this opponent is much better than the other one. How he died, the other Orochi came and killed him with me. Yeah, our team was, uh, pretty good there. <laughs> it wasn't exactly a fair match. We won every time. I feel like Grimes should protect the 6 6 taunt that gives double divine shell is a good card. Maybe it would be if we actually lived to that turn, right? A lot of those things could be good cards once we actually survive to that turn. But pirates are gonna kill you by like an early turn for a long time. Even nerfing small time back in here, they're still gonna find a way to kill you by an early turn. This game have tournaments to where we reach a competitive level. Eventually they'll have ranked mode, but it was just released this month, so there's no ranked mode yet. Uh, there have been tournaments run in the community that you can sign up for on Reddit. I can tell when an Parson player is highly skilled. He she skilled plays pirates gets fired out of the cannon. Yeah, sounds right. It's like Dark Souls, how you can tell how good your opponent was by the way they move and space their character before the fight started. Yep. Or the attacks like they choose to lead with. What is he trying to attack me with? Is he just wildly throwing a heavy in there that I can easily deflect and get him for? Or is he doing his fastest attack or maybe he's doing a cancel to try to see what my guard is like before committing? Like I, I go in and I tap with my left hit or my light hit and uh, that normally shows me like if my opponent's reflexes are up to par because blocking a light hit is tough and parrying a light hit is disgusting. Each time they get to parry the first couple, it's like, oh shit, this guy means real business now. Here's a giraffe. X. What the heck is that? Oh my god. This looks disturbing. Jiraxis is not meant to look like this. What have you done? I feel like the only thing that would make me happy with Hearthstone would be the new expansion next week. Thebus, I think that when we see the cards that are getting released in the new expansion, that's going to be really telling, right? The cards that they reveal to us when they announce the next expansion, it's going to be a big deal. Because if those cards aren't good, I think that, that could be maybe the end, right? If those cards are good and we're like, that can work, then there's a chance, but right now it's looking rough. Our stone's in the worst place it's been for a long time. 
Like, not only has Hearthstone's acceleration stopped, its deceleration has started. And, uh, they need to start the acceleration again. What's happening here? Did that happen twice? Dino Claws, one mana, one three, gain two attack, you control a beast. Yeah, exactly, Firebath. Like, imagine if they revealed that to us, I think we would just quit. I think we'd just be like, nope, they're fucked, there's no way. They're smoking the, the crack and the, it's not making sense, the cards don't add up. But if they reveal some, like, really good cards and we're like, okay, well, that could work, then... Rip game servers everywhere? Nah. The problem is the expansion they're going to announce soon was developed months ago. Well, that's not a problem if it was good, but it's definitely a problem if it's bad. It's definitely a problem if it's bad at knees. And everyone's looking a lot more closely now because the past two were bad. If they had done a good job on these past two, we would all be going into this like, of course, this is going to be another great expansion. It'll be awesome. But the past two sucked. So everyone's looking like, is this one going to suck too? You know, it's a, And we're a little more doubtful now considering the track record. I had to drive my dad to the hospital, not sure how long he'll be there. I'm in the waiting room freaking out. 17, I'm not sure what to do. Bolts, I am sorry to hear that, man. You just gotta wait right now. There's nothing you can do but wait and see what the doctors say, I guess. We send some love to Bolts. We get some hot love in the chat or any type of love emote. next two characters look like they'll be Ninja and Roman. I actually think that the Ninja would be cool, but... Or, uh, the Roman would be cool, sorry. The Ninja sounds a lot like a Samurai. What am I doing here? Oh god, that's what I get for reading chat. Alright, we're just building our revenge up real fast, right? That was what we were doing. We are just gonna build our revenge and then kill everybody. Just fucking blue sheet, get out of here. Stop it. Stop beating me up. Not... Nope. Okay, do it again. This is a plan all along, right? Nice. I love how that worked. Like, how did we win there? I just didn't, I didn't die for a while, and then, like, we overwhelmed them while they were all attacking me. Oh, scooted right over it. map too. Oh, stabbed in the butt. Surprised so many people are so critical of One Night in Karazhan, like many of the cards. Hanging Shaman cards are awful, they ruin the whole set. Well, the Yogg-Saron stuff, like, completely ruined it, yeah. The biggest thing to me was that they over-buffed Yogg-Saron strategies, like, so much, and Yogg-Saron became this huge problem. Not to mention, Shaman was a problem, but... So, does it mind my attacks unblockable? Oh, that gives me experience. Wow, that leveled me up to the maximum all of a sudden. I'm actually now level 4 because I picked up that buff. It just like flat gave me a ton of experience. No thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and kill that guy. Just kill this guy too. Uh oh. Nope. Oh, exciting 
Uh oh. Yeah, we're getting shoveled. Nope. We both want these boots. <laughs> I should have pushed them off the edge. Nope. There we go. God, I love having the boots. The boots just make it so much more fun when you're like, you just go so fast and you sprint everywhere. Oh no. like perpetually at one hit left, but as long as they don't kill me with an execute, then I'll resurrect when I die. No! Oh, he's gonna execute me though, fuck. Ah, oh, because he grabbed me there. If I didn't die to execute, I would've got resurrected because I have my talent. Are you a raider? Legendary. That's a pretty close game, actually. Oh wow, I lost a level. Hang on, how does that work? Did I lose a level, or did that, like, buff just give me all my talents for a bit? I think that's probably more likely what happened, because otherwise that buff was crazy strong, right? That would make sense, that it just gave me all my talents for a temporary time, and then I lose them. It's an interesting buff. Can I just, can I just knock you out? Over here. Nope. One more time. Fuck. He knows he's going out now if he stays there. How about you? Damn it. Oh, nice. Uh oh. Well, let's go then. Oh. Try again. There we go. Go then, push me. Nope. Try again. Let's go, push me again. Okay, not like that though. Yep. Oh god, the revenge. Nope. Backing up. There we go. Next up. No, oh, what? I was in the execute. It's in the execute. I couldn't guard break it. Buff gives you all talents temporarily. Yeah, that's interesting. It's a pretty strange buff. You don't see it on most of the other maps. I have my uh, res now, for real. Still a close game. They're actually winning by a bit. Let's get revenge. Parry again. Oh god. Can I have revenge? Thank you. Shit. Get, get, stop, stop stabbing me. Fuck. There's so many things happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so hectic there. It's like, just everybody's swinging at each other and like, where's your opening? No, he's gonna execute me too. My res doesn't work if I get executed. <sighs> Did the unblockable from the side. I 
haven't got to use my like res talent yet. Feels bad. It's a close game, but we're losing. I'm trying, man. Killing a lot of people. Gotta keep killing more people, apparently. Not killing enough right now. Sir. Well, that doesn't look good over there. Stop him! Why didn't you stop him? I would have. Oh, there we go. He did stop him. Nice. I was gonna say I was gonna res if he just stopped him. get score even when they res them they just like stay together on the front line I'm gonna die here though where's my team oh he just shot himself <clears throat> all right we gotta make the comeback here there we go Stamina. Ugh. Killed so many people. <laughs> See the score. Yo, I killed so many people. How did we lose? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> killed so many people. <laughs> Who's just killing them? Just killing them like over and over. How's your back feeling? Just feels like you're constantly killing in skirmish and then suddenly you look at the scoreboard and you're like, wait, we're losing. <laughs> <laughs>